Hi, my USANA family. I am so glad to be here presenting Finish Strong Friday. It's actually one of my favorite topics. Um, this is something that has made such a huge improvement in Reggie and I's business. Um, about, I want to say about three years ago, um, both me and Reggie, which is my husband, and he's my business partner, um, and he's working right now on our business to speak. Um, but one thing that we sat down and we talked about was that Fridays were so important um, in your business. Um, and we actually made a commitment. I mean, before you saw now, we used to like go out, you know, go to dinners, um, you know, birthday parties or whatever. Um, but one thing was when we started running the USANA business like a business, we realized that Friday was such an important day to actually be home and working on your business. Um, so we made a commitment and we decided that when we first started with this, we were gonna we committed to staying home every Friday night to work on our business for a year. And that just drastically grew us. We did that for an entire year. And then after we saw the growth and the power from it, we said, you know what? Friday nights are, this is going to be our permanent schedule. We're going to stay home. We're going to work on our business. We're going to get ready for the week. Um, we're going to close orders. Um, and, you know, that's what we did. And we still do till this day. If you look at me right now, I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I've been working. Um, we're also getting ready for a birthday party. Um, so it's just staying home and working on your business on Friday nights. Um, I truly, I didn't mind giving up my Friday nights because there is always Saturday to enjoy things and Sunday, but Fridays seem to be such an important day to really, really grow your business. And I'm going to tell you why with these tips. So I have five tips, but first I would like to say if you haven't watched Jay's video on Finish Friday, scroll down um, in the group and watch it because everything Jay said is so much on point. It's so much of what I do. So I didn't want to repeat like the same things or just repeat the same training. You're going to hear some of the summer similar things that Jay said that I'm going to give you in my tips. But honestly, Jay's video is so much on point. It's exactly what me and Reggie have done on Friday nights. Um, and it has just blossomed us as an individual, as a couple, as business partners. And then of course it has blossomed our growth in our business. So tip number one <laughs> is follow up with all prospects or clients that you reached out to this week. So what do I mean by that? So if you connected with someone on social media, if you send them a sample, maybe you send them a, a, a video to watch, a link to watch, um, maybe you send them to the, your website to take the health assessment, um, whatever, or maybe they, they came to an event and they tried the stuff. So let's say you had a Celebi experience or a healthy mixer maybe they came to that event it's checking up with them it's it's following up with every single one of those categories um and seeing how you can help them get on the usana products um especially my uh, my favorite is if they did get a sample or they did get come to an event you want to make sure that we try to close those people and get their health journey started so Friday nights, that's what I'm doing. I'm following up with everything that I did that week. Um, all the people I talked to saying, hey, I would love to get you started on this health journey. You know, let's rock and roll with it. I got two special, sorry about that. Someone called me. Babe, can you let uh, my mom know that I'm on the phone? She's bringing the kids home. Sorry guys, life sometimes happens, right? That's the beauty of having time freedom, right? So also, like I said, tip number one, following up with all prospects, all clients. Um, it's so important to reach out to those people. You do not want to let the week that you worked with them or talked with them or made a connection with or they came to an event, you don't want the week, the next week to start without you connecting and trying to close them and getting them on orders, okay? So that's tip number one. Tip number two, it's actually one of my favorites, and this is what has 
drastically helped us both um, grow and the business grow as well is message two to five PCs for referrals. So notice how I didn't say message people that you connected with, all of that. I'm talking about the people that have been on auto order in your business. So what Reggie does, because um, he is our math guy and he does all the numbers and I do all the communicating and we work together as a team, but maybe you don't have a business, maybe you don't have a business partner, maybe your partner's not involved in USANA, so you have to do both, right? But messaging your PCs um, that week and telling them and asking them um, for referrals is such an important part because it can grow your business so much. So what I normally do, just a little sample, is um, Reggie will look to see who's been on auto order the longest or who's been on auto order consistency. So we look for someone who's been on auto order for two months or more. And we reach out to them and we say, hey, who would you know that would love or benefit from taking this product because you've had such a great experience. As you can see, all these numbers in the back of my board, these are the preferred customers that Reggie wants me to reach out to. Um, so what I do is each week I go through one, two, or five, whatever your schedule is in your business hours is, and I ask them for referrals. Um, and they'll be like, yeah, you'd be surprised. Like, they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I know this person, I know this person can benefit from it, or this person needs it. <laughs> and you're like, great, um, do you mind if I message them or connect with them on social media? Um, can you also let them know, say, hey, I gave my I gave my health coach or my business partner, whatever you know your team refers to you, um, that I gave them your information because this product is absolutely changing my life. So let your referral partner know that you want them to the people's names that they gave you say, hey, if you don't mind, can you just shoot a quick text or Facebook Messenger and let them know that um, I'm gonna be messaging them and offering them, you know, either one, to come to an event, two, information or a link to watch, or three, I'm gonna be offering them a sample, right? And they'll be like, yeah, sure, I love you, Sana. Because when we have auto orders, um, obviously, if they're taking their auto order guys back to back, they are loving the product, okay? So asking them for a referral is gonna be like easy peasy. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, let me tell you, I know this person, this person. They might even give you more than three, okay? So it's, it's messaging them for referrals, but also, you know, as you see those referral partners start to come out, guys, those are y'all's business partners. You should definitely call those referral partners after they're sending you referrals every month. You should definitely meet with that person and try to get them enrolled in the business and make them an associate, right? So doing that step two can also, it's gonna, bring, it's gonna grow your business, it's gonna bring referrals, and it's also gonna bring you teammates, right? That are gonna be like, oh wow, this is, this is easy. All I need to do is refer you people and I'm getting money back for my product and I love my product. That's what they're gonna say. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is to contact your team and to see how their CVP gold is reaching this week. So everybody, you know, should have a CVP gold going into each week, but messaging your team because the reason that you want to message your team is because when you're balancing your, your points and if your team tells you, hey, I got four orders I'm going to plug in. You know, obviously, then that will tell you, okay, this person is going to put four orders in, this person, you know, put two orders in, let me go in and, you know, balance and where I need to cash out your highest CVP. So definitely reach out to your team, see how they went. So this is why all these steps will keep you home on a Friday night, right? Because you got to work through your clients, you got to go through your PCs, then you got to reach out to your team to see how their week went. So that's tip number three. And then tip number four is, you know, 
social sharing is so important guys and obviously if you're in this group you're probably on social media you're probably posting or sharing you know your lifestyle the products all of that so what I really like to do on a Friday night after I'm done with the first three steps I like to sit down and I like to make a calendar for my next week of what I'm gonna post on social media because we need to be intentional when we go on social media um, because we are in the business that is trying to reach people, right? So you just don't want to like, I know sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, I mean, I took this cool picture. Let me just post it up. And that's, that is, that is great. Don't lose that within you. But you also want to have a platform or plan of what you're going to be doing on social media for the next week. So I can actually show you an example um, I have a planner. I am a paper person. My husband is more technology. So if you are a paper person, you're going to do it my way. If you're a more technology person, you would do it Reggie's way. So Reggie does it a little bit different. He puts everything in notes and his calendar on the computer. Um, I use a direct calendar. And we both just kind of go through the week. And I'll show you an example. So for this week on Monday... Um, I had planned to post a motivational quote, uh, motivational, motivational Monday on Monday. And then on Tuesday, it was Transformation Tuesday. Um, and then on Wednesday, it was Workout Wednesday. Um, and then on Thursday, it was Thankful Thursday. And on, and on Friday, it was, you know, I'm going to post about how you're going to see a post go up after I get, how I'm getting ready for my husband's party. So that's like family style. And then tomorrow, which is Saturday, I'm going to post about our lovely party that we had to kind of, you know, show our, our life, our family and everything. And then on Sunday, I'm going to post self-care. So I already planned that out on for all of my week. I have that. So what you do is when you know you have a plan for that post, right? Obviously on Monday, maybe I'm going to the gym, maybe I'm running. I'm gonna take some pictures and I'm gonna use that so I can post. So it helps so much organizing your day because you know what you need to get done for that social media sharing post, right? So that's tip number four. And my last tip, which is tip number five, is schedule your appointments for the next week. So maybe someone told you, um, well, I plan on coming to the Celebi experience and the healthy mixer. Put that in your calendar and who told you that? Or maybe you send a sample out, right? And they didn't try it right away, but they said, hey, I'm planning on starting Monday because I want to go to the grocery store and get some healthy snacks and food. You're going to say, great, you're going to put that on your calendar. So organize in your calendar. Um, or maybe they said, um, you know what, I'm going to sit down tonight and, and I'm going to watch the link. That's why it's so important to follow up Friday nights, right? So you can get these responses so that way you can form them in your calendar for the next week. So that's my last tip. So, and I'm going to close with this, guys. Fridays are important. And if you commit to working on your business on a Friday night, you know, maybe you don't have to stay home the whole night. Maybe you commit to 30 minutes strong in doing all these steps. Maybe you commit to an hour. Maybe you commit to the night. Um, I can tell you as we started growing, you will have to commit to the night. <laughs> but, you know, as you're growing, it's, you know, little by little. But commit to staying strong on Fridays. Fridays are when people are like, oh my gosh, I'm relaxed, I'm done with work, you know, there's no stress. So they might respond to your messages a little bit easier versus when you're messaging them on a Monday, right? When everybody's like all crazy at work or with the kids and once school starts, if you're a mom, you're like back to school. It's, it's, you know, it's very hectic. So Friday nights are the perfect night to reach people because they tend to be more relaxed. They tend to be at home. Um, or they tend, you know, to be just like more open to like conversation with you. So that's what I've noticed. Um, those are my tips. I hope that they will help you. I wish everybody the best of, you know, growth um, and just work your business and never give up. And one thing I always tell my team is no matter how many no's you get, you've got to keep going because the yeses that you get are life changing and the yeses that you get those people can be excellent referral partners or excellent business partners in the future all right bye guys have a good night